Joe Jonas Speaks on Divorcing Sophie Turner Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner might well be one of everyone's most loved Hollywood couples, but just because you love them doesn't mean they don't have their own issues. Are they getting a divorce as the rumors say? Is their love still waxing strong? Keep watching to find out. Fans first got a hint of trouble between the young couple last November, following the premiere of the Jonas Brothers family roast on Netflix. The special, which was hosted by Kenan Thompson, featured different people including comedian Pete Davidson and singer John Legend roasting Joe, Kevin, and Joe Jonas. The most notable guests were, however, the trio's wives, Priyanka Chopra, Sophia Turner, and Danielle Jonas, all of whom took turns to roast their husbands and brothers-in-law. One would think being married to them would mean Priyanka, Danielle, and Sophie would turn down the heat on their husbands, but boy did they come with enough shade. During her roast, Sophie poked fun at her husband Joe Jonas and his brothers for wearing purity rings in the earliest days of their careers. Though the brothers wore the rings to show they were abstaining from sex before marriage, Sophie described it as laughably, toe-curlingly lame. Like, I know this is a roast and you all think I should be going after them, but I think we need to set the record straight here. No, the rings weren't a good idea. Yes, as a gesture, they're laughably, toe-curlingly lame. But remember, this was about more than a gesture. That actress said, Sophie then continued, highlighting that even though the brothers wore the rings to prove their faith, their acting careers exposed them to contrary things. This was about faith. This was about principle. This was about taking a stand and setting an example. Look, Joe Jonas wasn't just sticking his fingers in some dumb metal rings. He was sticking his fingers in co-stars, actresses, and even a supermodel or two. Sophie's roast further saw her compare her husband and his purity ring to the Cinderella story, while also throwing shade at some of Joe's female Disney co-stars. To be honest, Joe and the purity ring thing is kind of like a modern-day Cinderella. Joe tried to find a match for his purity rings a few times, but finally, the finger fit me. It was also like Cinderella because most of the girls he tried it with were under contract to Disney. The actress finished off her roast by turning to her husband and saying, Don't wait up. Pete Davidson slipped me his phone number. Of course, all these comments earned a good laugh from Joe, his brothers, Priyanka and Danielle, and people in the audience. Several other fans online also found Sophie's jokes to be very funny. Sophie Turner's part was nice, lol. It was a great way to spend an hour, one Twitter user said. Also commending the special and individual performances, a second fan wrote, I really enjoyed it. As expected, Joe and Sophie were the funniest, Kevin and Danielle were cute and wholesome, and Nick was annoying. Loved the energy, seemed like they all had a blast. A third person sharing similar sentiments also noted that Sophie was one of the funniest, while another user suggested that the actress do more comedy. Another user on Twitter came to Turner's defense by arguing the blame should be placed on the famous boy banders, who likely came up with the idea to host a roasting special in the first place. I doubt the concept was hashtag Sophie Turner's idea, so speak to your sons if you have a problem. The tweet read, You'd think they should have been disowned by now anyway. But while we all so loved watching the Game of Thrones star shade her husband, not everyone was pleased with the joke she picked. In fact, Sophie reportedly got into trouble with her in-laws over her crude jokes. According to a report by OK Magazine, Sophie's joke did not sit well with Joe's parents. A source confirmed that it didn't go down well with her in-laws, to put it mildly. But despite his parents' reservations, Joe found his wife's jokes to be funny. Joe thinks Sophie is hilarious, and he loves that she's not afraid to make dirty jokes, even at his expense, the source said. However, his parents, who are devout Christians, were not exactly amused by the actress's sense of humor. To avoid further occurrences, the singer was put under a ton of pressure to get his wife to tone down her jokes during family gatherings. Joe is stuck in the middle because this is just Sophie being herself, but things are bound to get awkward around the dinner table. The insider added, However, despite rumors of troubles in their marriage, Sophie and Joe did not take a break from showing the world that they are still waxing strong. Last December, the couple was spotted spending time together while taking in the holiday spirits. Though neither Sophie nor Joe came out to address the rumors, seeing them happy in public gave fans a feeling that all was well. 
And maybe they weren't wrong, seeing that up until this point, the couple is yet to announce a divorce. But if the divorce rumors are not true, does that also mean that Sophie's alleged troubles with her in-laws are also false? Well, not exactly, as the older Jonases have long had some reservations about Joe and Sophie's relationship. As fans might recall, Joe and Sophie got married in June 2019, but what many might not know is that they had previously tied the knot months before, in a secret wedding. On May 1st, 2019, after attending the Billboard Music Awards show together, Joe and Sophie headed to a small chapel in Las Vegas and said their I do's in front of a few of their famous friends, including popular DJ Diplo. And thanks to Diplo, who live-streamed the ceremony, fans got to be a part of Joe and Sophie's big day. But you know who was not thrilled with the impromptu wedding? Joe's parents. During an interview with SiriusXM's Hits 1, Joe revealed that his parents found out about his secret wedding through social media and not because he informed them. Well, in my mind, that was the legal portion of the marriage, so I was thinking like, this is not the most important day, Jonas said. There's an important day, I mean I'll keep private, but ahead of us. So we were like, it's just whoever is in town. His parents would later hear the news while working at their restaurant in North Carolina. I think like a couple of their staff walked up and were like, congratulations, I saw, and then they had to find out, Jonas said. Although Turner and Jonas had a second ceremony, he still felt the need to make up for not informing his parents. I was doing a lot of like apologizing and hey you guys want to come out to LA? I got you four spas at the Four Seasons, he said. So given the circumstances surrounding their wedding, it is no surprise that there might be friction between Turner and her in-laws. But is it enough to interfere with her marriage to Jonas? Not really. Over the years, we have seen Sophie develop a close bond with her in-laws, specifically Joe's mother, Denise Jonas, with both parties occasionally giving fans glimpses of their relationship during special occasions. In celebration of Mother's Day in 2019, Joe Jonas took to Instagram, sharing a picture of Sophie and his mom cuddled up with the caption, My love and the best mom ever, happy Mother's Day. Joe and Turner were first linked together in December 2016, after they were spotted going for lunch together. By the next month, the actress seemingly confirmed their romance by sharing a picture of Joe smoking a cigar on a boat. The months that followed saw Sophie and Joe leaving subtle hints about their relationship status. This, of course, included many more public appearances together, including attending the Met Gala together. By July 2017, Sophie had no problems letting the public know how romantic Joe was, while also sharing her frustrations over being in a high-profile relationship. You do feel like you're living in a fishbowl. It's frustrating that it's the most mundane things that make the news. How boring. There are really no other headlines, the actress said at the time. A few months after that, Joe got down on one knee and asked Turner to marry him, a move that clearly made the actress happy. I'm still like, holy shit, I'm engaged. It's lovely to be engaged. Not like I achieved anything, but I found my person, like I'd find a house that I love and want to stay in forever. There's a sense of peace that comes with finding your person. The two sure have an interesting love story, but like every other couple, also have their own ups and downs. Do we see a divorce coming soon? Not in the least. But this is Hollywood, and in Hollywood, anything is possible. Share your thoughts with us and let us know what you think in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.